Hello there, and welcome back to the Claire Codes channel. In today's video, we are going to... <laughs> words. Okay. In today's video, we are going to be looking at my 2023, or almost actually 2024, probably by the time I make it, portfolio. And in this portfolio, I'm going to have my projects, and I'm going to have, as you can see here, I can zoom in. I'm going to have a projects page, an about page, a conduct page, and then an external link to the YouTube channel that you were watching this on. So my dog is in the room and he wants to go outside. So if you hear any noises, that is inspiration for this project. Um, first of all, this is what my current portfolio looks like. And it's okay. You know, it's, you know, when you go to the projects page, I'm kind of proud of the hover effect I have here. If it chooses to load. Yeah, so it's got some fun um, strike throughs and hover effects, which I enjoy. Um, and the about is also just, it just feels dated. You know, this pro I probably made this site using WordPress in like 2021, I want to say. And while I've updated, you know, some of the categories or some of the lines in it, what, what have you. Um, let's see, I can show you too that this is a WordPress site. And how I did that with custom, advanced custom fields. WP admin. I'll log in. Um, and if I go to, you can see projects are custom um, post type. And then if I go to music sites, you can see I have the banner year and then I put tech stack I put you know content another thing a blurb and I have room for more to add if I wanted to do so so that's how I organize the projects and then I'm pretty sure that it's been a little while actually since I've looked the back end of the site if I go to pages I'm pretty sure I connected all the other info oops nope to the about page let's edit that imagine I just bulk action like delete every page the thing is, like, I lost some of my, um, like, oh, oh, interest. Oh, yeah, down here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I guess I just put the about information. Um, t oh, I put it in timelines. No? Post. Oh, yeah, I put about in posts. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yep, and that's where I have all this information. Okay. Don't know why I did that, but that's what I did. If you look at these comments, they're very weird, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where they came from. But anyway, back to my new updated site. So again, oh, let's go to the home page, actually. Visit the site. So this is what it looks like now. It's cool. It's got this eye blinky thing. I kind of like it. You know, it does link out to all my stuff. This used to go like, cross in the middle, I swear. But it crossed in the middle here. Hmm. Okay, so then this is my new one. And I can show you it here. So I'm starting again. Still going to have my name in the top. And then my menu. And what I think I'm going to use is um, I'm going to use Bootstrap to get like the grid system going. So it might turn out a little differently just because I didn't count like columns when I was designing this, you know, per se, but it, it'll look around like this. And I think that'll help me with mobile too, if I use bootstrap and then we can scroll down, we can see more. Um, so yeah, I, I, this is also a little bit of a catch up video just because I'm not actually coding so much per se. Like I might start coding a little bit in this video, but really I just want to talk to you, you know, if, you want to join on this little chit chat adventure. Um, so I was working last year at uh, Halo Media as a junior developer, and that's when I worked on sites like this site for Post Malone, um, which actually I'm kind of feeling inspired by. Um, it was really fun to build this used bootstrap. I love that it has this little blinky thing and these highlight and it stays like attached there. Um, I did a really fun thing for mobile too. I put this extra animation and then there's a, 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 a words hover effect here and then when I go down here it's it actually turns 
So that was cool. This was maybe going to become a music player, but we... So it has the option, actually, if you embed an audio file for it to become a music player. Right now, this just spins. And I think if I click, I understand. No? Okay. I thought that this would be the same size. <laughs> I think at one point it was. And then these are also highlight. Okay, cool. That works at least. Let's see. I do want to show you the mobile effect. So if I go like this, boom. And this turns to one line, two lines. And then it, it like bounces back. So I did have a lot of fun working on this site. Anyway, back to the point I was trying to make before I got distracted. So I actually, like, due to a mental health crisis, I did lose that job. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's sometimes it's the way life shakes out. And to be honest, you know, at times, like, it was a little, a little too much. Like, I think Post Malone's site, like, I maybe had four days to work on it, which for, like, a big site like that, you know, it's a lot. And maybe with my mental health state the way it was, it, it just wasn't meant to be. But, you know, I'm back on the job market. Um... And we'll see, we'll see what happens. I am right now actually teaching um, uh, high school students how to code. So that's been really cool. It's a really, really part-time gig and I really hope it turns into more. I am enjoying it and yeah, I'm seeing that this is out of the grid, but I, I know that when I code it, it will definitely be snapped in line. So yeah, I'll have some of these. Again, this is kind of all I have saved from like my time there, you know, like it's not like when you're working, you're like, oh, let me screenshot everything. Or if you do, like, then it's like, it ends up on one computer or somewhere, this or that. I'm sure I could find more, but I did actually uh, store some stuff on a hard drive, not to like <laughs> steal their copyrighted work, but um, just to like, for coding sake, like sometimes I would discover something new. Like when I did um, Post Malone, that was the first time I had done uh, Bootstrap with WordPress. So I wanted to like remember how I did it. So stuff like that. I can just, like, look back at for my own knowledge base. Because, you know, sometimes you get rusty. It's been a little while for me since I've done it. So, yep, yep. And, yeah, this site just continues. It's from a hackathon. So what I think I'll do is I'll have um, custom post type of projects. So each project will be a post type, much like I had before. And then they'll have their own, um, I would not carousel. But like, like table where I'll have like materials, live link about like if there's no live link, like I think for, um, yeah, the music sites, for example, then like have something, you know, that I, I'd want a custom thing. So I'll have to really think through that. Maybe I'll have some custom rows to add in. Yeah, that all sounds good. I think I can um, loop through it in a, a nice way. And this was kind of, this was fun. Wow, this really brings me back. You know, when you look at old projects and you're like, wow, where was I in 2019? So, you know, had no thoughts of what was to come in 2020 at the pandemic. Just doing a hackathon, you know, doing little doodles. I think I did that drawing. I think that's my handwriting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, oh, so I wanted to share my inspiration for this. So there's a site called cargo.site. And you can actually build through Cargo itself. And they have all these cool, like, just on the grid sites. And I just got really inspired. And I wanted to maybe have a best sites in use category. Um, yeah, so definitely look through here for inspiration. If you're stuck with anything. Because there's just some cool stuff happening here. So again, this is... I'll put a, a link. Um, to the des I'm in the design lab because I have an account. Okay, cool. So cargo. My site. Um, oh yeah, this is I opened up a cargo site just for wireframe. I think I want to do something like if you notice when you scroll down it goes opacity changes and also um, comes up. So I want to do something like that in my site. So add some like JavaScript um, interactivity. So that's a goal of mine. Yeah, and I hope this has been a good chat um maybe i'll start something too i'll pull up local and let's create a new site um and i'll call this uh portfolio 20 and i'll call it 2024 just because i feel like by the time i finish it, it'll be 2024. So environment prefer
Just kidding, it's local, so you can't be hack me. <laughs> okay, and we'll start it up. And then what I'll do is I'll get, um, I'll start probably with, um, yeah, yeah. Joint swap. WordPress. Theme. Yeah. Joints WP. I don't know where I thought swap from. Yeah. And then I like, I had some trouble actually with the foundation six. So I think I'm going to do WP five. And code. Wait, let's, let's read. Um, yep. Yeah, install. Yep. Watch and build. So hopefully this works. So I'm going to download zip and then go back here, go to site folder. App zip WP content themes and I need to grab this put it in there and change this to portfolio twenty four theme and then I'll open up this in my Visual Studio Code. Sorry, there's so much going on on the screen. Let me. Change the theme. Recording. Theme of my Chrome 24. Portfolio. And then let's look at the package locked up JSON. Or package JSON. Okay. Um, cool. Terminal, new terminal. Let's, sorry if I'm mumbling here. I'm just kind of like going through what are the steps? All right, so node 6.9 or newer. So I have a weird node thing where I have to kind of tell it what NPM and node to use. Okay, so I hope this isn't too new if I use that. Let's install and see what happens. Because last time I installed it broke. Wish me luck. Oh, it was an older version of NPM. Because last time it got very angry about um, SAS. Pulp SAS. So if this doesn't work, I'll have to kind of redo what I did to work around. And I'll probably end the video there, honestly, because <laughs> it's it's a it's a headache. It really is when it doesn't work. Yeah, it's the error, and then it's, it's getting mad at me about... Um, Failing. Yeah, it's just, it's all about the SAS, node SAS. Alright. So I'll figure that out. Don't you worry. Um yeah. And then I'll install Bootstrap and make my custom sounds lewd. Custom post type. And start playing around with the design. I also want to map out what I'm going to do for the about page. And what I'm going to do for the contact page. I'll probably on the contact page use like a built-in WordPress, you know, contact system. Um, but I'll definitely have to think it through. So that's where I'm at with that. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Okay. Have a good one. Stay golden. And thank you, thank you for watching this all the way through. <laughs> I hope this wasn't too rambly. All right, bye.